This is old mate's backyard tech. All right, wind the clock back a couple of years. I was using one of my servers for what I believe to be was quite legitimate reason here at home. It ran my network. However, as we're all aware, I was backed into a corner and forced to shut it down because a number of viewers were howling on me for not using it for its intended purposes. Let alone, I also was not sitting there writing out hundreds of lines of code. So I was forced to shut it down in order to keep the peace. At the time of running that specific server, I was using a GUI front end called Webmin. However, since going to Linux, I found Cockpit. Well, that's left one of my viewers scratching their head. As you can see in the background, it's Old Mate's Q&A and advice time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And for this one, I used to use Webmin. Now I use Cockpit. Why? Simple. I prefer Cockpit. You got questions about some IT stuff? You got questions about AV stuff? You got questions about the 80 series Land Cruiser? You're at the right spot. From Old Mate's Backyard Tech, this is Old Mate's Q&A and Advice. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mates Q&A and advice time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for Midweek Wednesday, continuing with our Q&A day. One of my long-time viewers who I often communicate with, particularly via email, they don't tend to like commenting because they tend to get a little bit worried about their comments causing problems. Don't worry, I know what that can be like. They want to know... I used to love Webmin. Why am I not running Webmin on my Linux servers now, such as, say, NetServer? Um, simple. I think Cockpit's better. I just think overall Cockpit's better. Now, Cockpit's been on Red Hat for I don't know how long, and now it's available pretty much on, I think, most of your Linux distros. I say most. I don't know how many, but it's available... I believe it's on Ubuntu. I believe it, well, it is in Debian. Obviously, Red Hat and the various um, offshoots of Red Hat. Fedora's in there. CentOS is in there, so on and so forth. All right, it's available across the board pretty much with your mainstream distros. At the time I was running that server for what I believe was a quite legitimate purpose for myself, however, I was not running it according to other people the way it was supposed to be. <coughs> What was the comment? I am wasting that server, was one of the comments. Um, I don't believe Cockpit was available. Webmin was. And so when I found out about Cockpit and started playing in Cockpit, I realised that for what I do and what I'm going to do, Cockpit is better for me. Now, does that mean it's better for everyone? No, of course not. I like it. Now, for those of you who don't mind old mate sharing his opinion, keep an eye on the comments. Be interested to see how many get published. Um, but effectively, I, I just prefer Cockpit. I did. Look, Webmin's good. Don't get me wrong. Webmin's good. But since coming to Cockpit both with Neth server, having played around with it in Debian now as well. Um, the setup's easier. Uh, you don't have to add a lot of bits and pieces. Like with, with Webmin, there's a few extra steps you've got to do before it works, whereas Cockpit, it's just app get install Cockpit. And then, you know, you can add bits to it that you need at a later date. That's not to say cockpit's for everybody. I, I, I'm not saying cockpit is for everybody. I'm just saying I like it. And because I like it, newsflash, I'll use it. Um, because I can. <laughs> it's just that simple. Um, but yeah. Look, if cockpit was available back then and I'd already seen it and used it, I probably would have gone with it. I don't believe it was, or if it was, I wasn't aware of it. So, 
Webmin was what I was running. Um, and Webmin, look, Webmin's good. I like Cockpit. So, therefore, it stands to reason, if Old Mate likes Cockpit over Webmin, then I will use Cockpit. Uh, especially if I end up going to a flat out... Um, Especially if I end up going to a, 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 a whatever the server is I'm planning on, a Debian server. So there we go. That was easy. Um, I know the viewer's name. I'm not going to mention them because, as I say, it's better if they just email me because comments tend to cause chaos as usual. So this viewer is regularly in contact with me via email. The other thing I was going to say too with Cockpit, when you do app get install cockpit or app install cockpit, I should say not app get, good grief, app install cockpit, most of it comes down pretty easily and then you just log in and you add to it after the fact. Okay. Webmin, you've got to do um, a whole pile of other steps to go through. I vaguely remember that's what I had to do when I was running that other server. For what, like I said, for what I believe was perfectly legitimate, which disagreed with a lot of people, and that's why it got shut down. I wasn't using it for their intended purposes. Got to keep them happy. Um. So yeah, I just think cockpit's better. I like the way it works. I use it on Neth server now. It works perfectly on Neth server, and what I've used it in Debian. It, it, it's great in Debian. So because I now like Cockpit, I'll use it. Simple as that. Anyway, there we go. Stick around. We've got an urgent audio Q&A and advice coming up for you shortly. Have a good one.